Tech news is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Unless that box of chocolate comes with one of those diagram things that tells you exactly what you're eating. Then, wait, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, tech news. Today marked the official launch of AMD's latest processors, Ryzen 7. And you can tell because the embargo has lifted and all of the reviews are out, including our review of the 1700X from our very own Keys, which you can watch up here in the little eye or down in the link below. So what's the general consensus? AMD looks to be rising back to the top of the CPU hill. While most of the reviews are overall positive about the new CPU, there are some speed bumps. Some reviewers experienced lower than expected performance in 1080p gaming. Ryan Shrout from PC Perspective went as far as contacting AMD's CVP marketing for an explanation of why 1080p gaming performance lags behind a little bit. Simply put, over the last few years, developers have mainly optimized gaming for Intel's chips, since AMD chips have been less competitive up until now. But I'm sure we can all expect this to change over the course of the next year. For more information on where you can buy these Ryzen chips also, you can head over to ncx.com, it's in the link below, or you can or both, actually, you can tune into our live stream next Wednesday, March 8th. We'll do a live Q&A on Ryzen and then do some gaming and streaming, which is what these chips are great at. Uh, it will be on Wednesday, March 8th, time around 4 or 6. We'll have details later on. Speaking of AMD, though, new rumors are making its way across the internet about the Radeon RX 500 series of GPUs. Reports suggest that in April, AMD will be launching their RX 500 series with three rebranded GPUs. The RX 580, 570, and 560 will all be rebrands of the 480, 470, and 460, but they will receive a small bump in speed. The only non-rebranded 500 series GPU is said to be the low-end SKU, the RX 550. Like we said earlier, these are just the rumors, but AMD has launched rebranded GPUs before, so the likelihood of this is happening again is high. But do not fret, Vega is still coming, hopefully sometime during Computex. The guys here at the office are buzzing with excitement because Overwatch just released their 24th character named Orisa. Orisa's backstory is that she was an OR15 robot modified by 11-year-old Effie Oladell to help protect the people. Orisa is a tank class character with an automatic cannon that deals constant damage but slows her own movement speed. Her other abilities include halt, fortify, and protective barrier. Finally, her ultimate is Supercharger, where Orisa deploys a device that buffs damage done by allies in its line of sight. The device can be destroyed by enemies. You can currently play Orisa on the public test realm. What do you guys think about this new character? Were you expecting Doomfist? Let us know and comment below. It's time for... Snippety Snippets? Thanks, Jess, for your Snippy Snippets submission. If anyone would like to submit their own version of Snippy Snippets, tweet it at me. Virginia is the first state to legalize delivery robots. The robots can use the city's sidewalks and crosswalks starting July 1st. Well, it looks like step two in the robot revolution of the year 2051 is now complete. Twitter announced a partnership with ESL and DreamHack to broadcast tournaments and other esports events live on the social media platform. Looks like Nintendo is taking their warnings for choking hazards quite seriously. They have designed the Switch cartridges to taste bad so that small children and pets don't swallow your $50 or $60 game. Thanks, Nintendo. Now there are multiple videos on the internet of people licking the cartridges just to verify this. Gmail is now allowing 50 megabyte attachments, which is double the limit of 25 megabytes. And Kingston's new DCP-1000 M.2 SSD reaches sequential read speeds of 6.8 gigabytes per second. Whoa. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCAX forum post linked in the description. Ravioli, ravioli, give me the formuloni. I have no idea what that's in reference to, but now I'm low-key craving ravioli. Thanks, Ian. But if you want us to say some random things on that link, tweet at us with hashtag NCXYoDog.
This week is the Busy Builder Sale event. The Canadian deal is a Logitech G810 Orion Spectrum Mechanical Keyboard for $154.98. That's a savings of $65 and it has free shipping. The American deal is a Razer Kraken Pro White Gaming Headset for $42.99. That's a savings of over $75. Plus, as a special bonus, the NCX Reward Center has $10 gift cards you can redeem for 2,500 points. They are limited to one per account, so don't try to redeem more than one. And also, they're going super fast and quantities are extremely limited. So if you've got the points, check it out. Click up here for the deals and click down below the link in the description for the rest of this week's savings and a link directly to the reward center. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. See you guys.